a week without water. Around 50 to 70% of our bodies are made up of water. There are lots of things our bodies use this water for. It forms saliva in our mouths, which aids digestion. It lubricates our joints so we can move easily. And it's a vital part of our blood, which carries the oxygen and nutrients we use to where they're needed in our bodies. Water also helps to regulate our body temperature through sweat. So it's really important to drink plenty to replenish all of the water we use in our bodies. All around the world, people access the drinking water they need to survive in many different ways. In some countries, people have built their houses around a well, so they can pull water up from deep under the ground. In other countries, families might share a water pump with other nearby households. There are also parts of the world where fresh water is very scarce, and in these places, people have to walk miles every day to find a water source. Here in the United Kingdom, we are extremely lucky to be able to turn on our taps to get fresh, clean water. And it is very important that we only drink fresh, clean water, otherwise we could get very ill. Our tap water has been very carefully treated so that we can be sure it is good for us to drink and wash ourselves with. This water starts its journey by being pumped from our rivers or reservoirs where it's collected to a treatment centre like this one where it is thoroughly cleaned. Here at the treatment centre, the water goes through different filters and treatments to make sure it's completely free of any microscopic bugs that might make us ill. Then the water is ready to be pumped to our taps. This isn't the end of the water's journey though. Once we have used the water and flushed it down the drain or the toilet, we then need to clean it again before we can return it back to nature. This is so we don't pollute our rivers and streams. So working hard for us, hidden away under our feet, there is a network of pipes carrying all the water we've used to a sewage treatment works. Once there, the dirty water is thoroughly cleaned again and all the waste that has been flushed away is carefully removed. The water is then once more returned to rivers and streams where it flows